Hello, Mission Church. Pastor Jeff here. I hope you're having a good week. I know there's a lot going on in our world, so we're keeping you in prayers, just really uh, praying that you would be safe, that you would be healthy, you and your family and your loved ones. Um, there are some great things happening in the life of our church. Um, for instance, on in February, we're going to relaunch our Wednesday night programming. And uh, we're going to do that by having a meal together. If you remember those Wednesday night meals? Um, and there'll be programming afterward for the for the children and for the teens, um, the worship. There's also new courses that are going to be starting up. I'm going to be leading one of those with my friend Susan Brownlee. So I encourage you to make plans starting in February to be here on Wednesday nights, to have meals together, and to be a part of the life of our church on Wednesday nights as well. Another thing that we're doing is that we're fasting together um, these next couple of weeks, and uh, it's been it's been great already. I was reflecting on a passage that Pastor Gordon touched on um, in his sermon last week uh, that talks about fasting and the kind of fasting that God desires from us in Isaiah 58. And I'm gonna read from the message version because I really appreciate what um, how this version puts it in a uh, you know just very um, tell it like it is kind of way. Um, so, so God says to his people, this is the kind of fast that I'm after to break the chains of injustice, to get rid of exploitation in the workplace, to free the oppressed, to cancel debts. What I'm interested in you is seeing you sharing your food with the hungry, inviting the homeless into your homes, putting clothes on the shivering ill clad, being available to your own families. Do this and the lights will turn on and your and your lives will turn around at once. Your righteousness will pave your way. The God of glory will secure your passage. Then when you pray, God will answer. You'll call out for help and he'll say, here I am. If you get rid of unfair practices, quit blaming victims, quit gossiping about other people's sins. If you are generous with the hungry and start giving yourselves to the down and out, your lives will begin to glow in the darkness. Your shadow lights will be bathed in sunlight. I will always show you where to go. I'll give you a full life in the emptiest of places. We have that image of, of God just um, calling our, our fast to not just be about ourselves. And, and there is something um, beautiful about uh, taking the time and making the space in order to grow in our union and our relationship personally with God. But he also calls us to go outside of ourselves and think of others. When we fast, we put ourselves in solidarity and we're able to experience a little bit of the hunger that many experience on a daily basis. And, and our heart begins to break for those uh, for whose heart God breaks as well. And we and we uh, allow His Spirit to move in us in order to go out and to serve those who are in great need. So um, that was challenging for me. I hope that it, it also challenges you and convicts you um, to think, how is God using this time of fasting um, to not just make it all about me, but to... to um, for him to show you how you can also serve those who are in need all around you. And man, there are people in need right now. There's so many people um, sick, so, pe so many people um, in great need. And I encourage you to, to just ask God, how can I serve the people around me this week, especially as we lean into fasting as a church. God bless you, Mission Church, and I hope that I can see you on Sunday morning once again outside in our grassy area. God bless.